Now, you also had a movie come out recently, mm -hmm. correct? Uh, Swing Away. A golf movie, believe a it or not. A golf movie. Yeah. Oddly enough. How, who how, how lucky for it? us. That's... Uh, it's a very unusual golf movie because it's as much about golf as it is really about uh, some of the underlying principles of golf and, and the sense of character of golf. Um, it actually is about an LPGA pro, a, a lady pro, and... Uh, she has a meltdown on the 18th hole of oh, a yeah. major championship. She misses a putt and takes the putter and buries it in the green, which you're not supposed to do. No. So uh, anyway, she is instantly suspended, and in the brouhaha that follows, she gets out of the country and goes back to the, her homeland on the Isle of Rhodes in Greece and uh, goes to stay with her grandparents that she hasn't seen in many, many years and just to kind of chill out for a while and stay away from the limelight. And she... Um, ends up kind of rediscovering an awful lot about herself and her culture. She ends up mentoring a 10-year-old golf phenom, a little girl on the island who reminds her of herself and uh, has that wonderful attachment, that wonderful parallel. And then also she champions the town in saving the, er, the only golf course on the Isle of Rhodes, uh, which is true. There's only one golf course on the Isle of Rhodes, and it's a terrible golf course. But that's the point. Gol golfers or, or Greeks are not by their nature golfers, but... Uh, she saves the course from this um, uh, evil, <laughs> I call him evil, um, American developer, overzealous and uh, kind of a bull in a china shop. No sense of the culture at all, just the deal. And he comes in and he owns the golf course and is turning it into a uh, kind of a theme park with a water, a, a themed water park, which is exactly yeah. what they, they don't need overlooking the Aegean Sea. So uh, she saves it from that. So that's the whole premise of the movie, but it's a wonderful, wonderful family comedy uh, slash there's a little drama to it but it's very funny and of course I play the the irredeemable uh, uh, American developer and I'm as mean as a snake I was gonna say I think to your fans who are used to seeing you as the as the charming guy are gonna be a little bit taken back by the fact that you're the villain here and I, oh, believe, I, am. I believe we have a clip do you that kind of uh, articulates some of that business I thought we were partners oh we're not partners you're fired what and that goes for miss yips too can relax because your little village is about to become a world-class destination. I'm selling this property to those two gentlemen there, and they're going to build a five-star golf resort. You're selling? Sir, you just bought it. It's going to be a kind of a club med here. We're going to have a hotel, shopping, resort, restaurants. There's even going to be a water park. And maybe you could find yourself a job flipping burgers at one of the many convenient poolside cafes. As for the rest of you, Get the hell out of here! This place is closed. Wow. Oops. He slipped into that really naturally. Oh, it's, uh, uh, he's irrepressible, irredeemable, and I make no apologies for him. <laughs> I, I love villains because you play them for what they are and not what they're, you don't try, I don't try to round the edges of them. I don't make them charming at all. He's, Did you have any inspiration or real? Uh, I created the role. Uh, basically, I said that the, none of that was scripted, really. All of that was just, wow. um, basically, I just said to the director, I said, just let the camera roll. I speak more intelligently uh, about this type of a character than you'll ever write for me. So let me uh, <laughs> so just, just let use me my sardonic sense of humor, and, uh, and, and I'll get the points down as well. Nice. Now, you mentioned earlier it was about an LPGA player. We've all seen, you know, Caddyshack and Tin Cup and Happy Gilmore and mm -hmm. these golf movies. They all seem to center around male golfers. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we've really hit the LPGA yeah. as well. So do you feel like Swing Away is like breaking some new ground here? Or? Well, a little bit, yes, I think it is, because it, it, it kind of plays into the, the, the female sensibilities of, uh, of the way the game is played and, and uh, you know, the sense, that wonderful sense of Mother Earth um, and that sense of the attachment to a, a, a gen kinder, gentler way that I think, you know, women bring to the game. Sure. Um, and I think uh, her sense of going back and trying to find that sense of familial purpose in her life as to why she really became a golfer uh, and it um, and and solving her yips <laughs> um, that uh, but it, it it's uh, you know the, the great lesson learned in it and it's a wonderful story about redemption and that we are not our circumstances